Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to WWE 2K19 Championship Scramble. Today we are on episode 37 and we are doing the World Tag Team Championship from 1997 to 2002. And we're doing it with the Brothers of Destruction, Kane, and The Undertaker. Going one on one with The Undertaker, play. Sorry, I like making my, I like making my jokes. Um, finisher plus. We gotta get Biker Taker. We'll also give him a finisher plus. And we are gonna be going against. The only team I could really think to put in this match Shawn Michaels. Which he needs a finish thing. I don't know what Triple H I wanna use for this, time, to be honest. Uh, let's use Triple H01 for him. Okay. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh -huh, I was right. They did lose because I'm pretty sure I, I remember which episode I used them on. Uh, if I remember correctly, if I go back up, I should see evolution is a mystery. Village change, no one see, and which means we can do Bautista with finish plus and Randall Randall Key. Randall Keith, Randall, Randall Keith, Randall Keith. Sorry, I'm making stupid jokes. And we'll give him a finisher plus, and we'll go for championships because Evolution DX. Those boyos right there. Brothers of Destruction makes sense for this. The Big Red Machine is here. Yes, the European champion, because Jesse won the match with him. Sorry. What are the odds? I think I'm too. I, I sing along to every theme song, if you guys haven't noticed. I, I, I'm a huge person for themes. Sorry, there's no DX in this, like actual DX, I should say. There's DX, but there's not DX DX. <laughs> I swear I thought that Brock Lesnar shirt was I legit looked at that Brock Lesnar shirt and the Bullet Club shirt in the game. Look who's here! The animal Batista Josh WWE's Hey tell to me Talk to me, talk to me. Oh yeah, I'm Kane. Ow, ah, Randall! Viper looks to uncoil and strike with the RKO at any time. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. Again, this is broken. Sometimes things don't go quite as well. These two teams of three. 2K. You guys gotta fix this. Fucking commentary is never fun. The Vipers become even more proficient with that devastating RKO. You're a devastating RKO. Oh, I know it doesn't, doesn't make sense. Right I don't care. Do it now. Don't. Sorry, I'm gonna have that stuck in my head all fucking day now. Harsh impact. Don't make it. Incredible impact. 
Not looking good for Shawn Michaels here. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match. Shit, 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 shit. He's going to slap my face off of the post. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. Oh. And unfortunately Oof. for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable Oh, beat my God. That was so weird. You guys know what I'm talking about. Recently, when Finn Balor was getting ready to go up at the Royal Rumble against Blazenar, we did the match. Vince McMahon was like, you don't have all the, You're look at all this technique. beef in the ring compared to you. He want I was to like, do what this the fuck, why is he ring? talking about beef? That's so weird sounding. Like, it was obviously him just like, so not enjoy, not liking Finn Balor because he's small. And then he made, it was like, just really weird. It's not super not sexual ways in beef though. Or, or in the midst of a disagreement. And that's the case. Someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Oh, he doesn't do a power bomb? I guess it probably would be a finisher, wouldn't it? You gotta believe this one's over. I can't believe it, Michael. Catch me. I just I just destroyed him. Definitely hurt Cole. He's a spinning ball of energy. This might be it. Oh my. Thanks to Ron Taylor Manager Kurt Angle sorry. in May of 2017. Right. Oh, the I miss Randall Keith. The Universe saw a dream team oh, come together when the Hardy Boys joined the Devil's Favorite Demon with the Devil's Favorite Sidewalk Slam. That's such a stupid joke. Really Devil's right Favorite here. Sidewalk Slam. That sounds so stupid. Bang! No, Sean. Ow. Sean. No. When this guy's on, look out. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and the Miz. Both teams worked very well together. That surprised me since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six man God, run, it's already almost in two years. An effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed the Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. There's nothing more intimidating than when the big. No, he missed. He reversed. Everyone knows Dick, you weren't supposed to reverse that, Randall. Oh, fuck me. Randy Orton is getting oh, bitch. Here. He's a spinning ball of energy. And he's heading back in. Does he really not have it to... Oh. What a, what a table finisher? Right on the mark. Kane will methodically stalk his... Kane, oh. Or maybe he does. Oh, boy. Nope. Choke slam straight to hell. This could be the turning point. He must not have that style on. For Kane to finish this. And here comes Orton. And the slam. Oh fuck! Whoa, the ladder hits. Oh god! Jeez, that's I can't do shit. Ow! Oh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Uh -oh. Where am I at? Oh my god! Getting hit by a ladder. Sounds about right. Boys. That is a huge opening for the Undertaker. But what will we do with it? Yeah, he's a superstar that can flip the switch and get after you. On oh, the back of the neck. Batista with the reversal. Toss to the outside. Damn it, I knew it was going to happen. Around. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Batista has three finishers, you guys. I don't feel very confident about that. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. No luck against Batista there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, what impact. Back in the ring again. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Stone pile driver. Nailed it. There is no cutting back. I didn't mean to do that. My fucking mic is all weird right now. And he's fighting back Bitch. here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Jesus it Christ, how many pedigrees do you need to fucking hit, Triple H? Mm, game over. Hardy har. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at him, guys. Ooh. Shawn Michaels.
Michaels has fought his way all the way back into this match, and now looks like he just might win this thing. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. Back in from the floor. This is going to be big, one way or another. Incoming. Oh boy, he is rolling. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Hunter, stay away no from me. No luck against Batista there. Big punch finds its mark. Now it's Kane getting wrapped up. This six-man tag team match certainly seems to be getting the best of him here. He is hurt. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come on. That should do it. Momentum is fully in the corner of Randy Orton now. Nailed it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's got to hurt. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Uh-oh. Oh, nasty impact. Wow. Oh, debilitating elbow drop. Can he finish him up here? I don't know if the Undertaker can recover. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, shows no mercy. In that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. He's a spinning ball of energy. There he goes, crashing to the floor. What a six-man tag match. That was bullshit. I got screwed over. Randy Orton literally got me last Billy, minute. And then some. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here are your winners. The Animal Batista and the Viper, Randy Orton. Going to feel the effects of this win for a while. Oh, well, I got a feeling we should talk about this win for a while. Wow. Bell. Just wow. That, I'm speechless. I wanted it to. What an amazing match. Um. So yeah, we lost. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.